Hi, I'm Leslie. Welcome to Better Balance for Life. Are there things that you love to do on a daily basis that involve standing for long periods of time, but you find that your lower back gets so sore, it stops you from doing the things that you enjoy? Well, watch what's coming up next, and I'll show you what to do to relieve that lower back pain. Check out my website for more information and what you can expect in one of my classes. See you really soon. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> okay, another place where we can find that we end up breaking our back. Our back tends to get quite sore when we're doing things in the kitchen. I know I've gone through this in class, but to actually see um, one we're actually doing I think is a little bit more appropriate and I can. So here I go into the back of the cupboard. Here is the best position to put that body in. So here I am trying to get into the back of my cupboard. As you can see, I'm in that wide squat position and excuse my head being down. I have both of my arms on my legs to stabilize that body weight. As soon as I put my arms on those legs, I've taken the pressure out of the legs. I'm putting some of it into that upper body, but again, I've tucked those shoulder blades in so that my form is good. So in the cupboard I go, push the bottom out, bottom out, bottom out to reach into the back of the cupboard, lower still. Bit, bit of a stretch on those inner thighs, but at least I'm working my legs rather than my back. And we can stay in this position depending on your fitness and your flexibility for a lot longer than we can doing this. Or worse still, getting on your knees. Please never get on your knees. You know your knees aren't gonna like it. And then you've got to try and get back up again. Whereas in that wide squat position, bracing through that tummy, pushing those feet into the ground and coming up into that standing position. Chopping, <laughs> chopping food. One of the things that I know some of you do is spend quite a lot of time standing at that kitchen bench. And one of the things that will happen as you start to get tired, you're gonna to start to lean with one hip out. So that one hip comes out and we wonder why we start to get very tight in the body, you may gravitate towards the other way. So we end up short on one side and long on the other as far as our muscles go. So when you are going to be at that counter chopping for a considerable length of time, you do actually need to think about your body posture here. So the feet directly under those hips, feet nice and flat. Because if you want to stand there and do the things that you absolutely love to do, you're going to need to start to think about how your body is when you're doing it because the last and the worst thing is getting part way through something you're actually thoroughly enjoying doing and having to stop and sit because the lower part of your back or your legs are really starting to get super sore. So what I wanna do is give you a couple of little handy hints that will be able to help you do a little bit more for a little bit longer. So I'm going to stand side on here and you'll be able to see me quite clearly because the kitchen is white. When you start to get that pain in the lower back, try doing the following. So remember, we've done one thing. We're not leaning to one side or the other. We've got that weight straight through the centre. We want to tuck the tail under and engage these. Another great place you can engage those soft knees Tuck the tail under a little, soft knees. That will actually help with that lower back getting sore because what we tend to do over time, when we're getting tired and we're chopping, I'll come to the bench and actually show you. Might not chop the carrot because it's very loud. We tend to start to get this posture here, rounded out through the back because we're not standing up and lifting up through that tummy, bracing that tummy. And if you're feeling it in that lower back, tucking that tail under and then resuming. Nice and straight, body nice and straight. Not twisted, not turned, not bent over. Lift up through that tummy, so really brace through that tummy and engage those bottom cheeks. 
it will help you stay there longer. In between, when you're starting to feel the tension build, because it will in the shoulders and sometimes the neck from having the neck down, stop. Stay in the kitchen, just stop, do the following. Drop the chin to the chest like we do in the warm up. So drop that chin to the chest, let it hang, lift it up, tuck it in. Tuck the chin in, you only need to do about five of these, drop the chin to the chest. Take your time, feel length in the back of the neck. Lift, tuck, drop. Little hold. Lift, tuck, drop. Little hold, so do round about five of those. And you'll feel the tension in the back of that neck start to dissipate. Don't stay in pain. The other thing we can do to relieve that pain in the lower back and the legs is to slide the hands down the thighs, slowly, 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 and just let the body hang. Just let it hang. That's gonna stretch out the back of the legs, the back, let the neck hang. Let it all just hang, relax. Stay there for as long as you think, think you need to. And push the feet in. Slowly come up one vertebra at a time. Peeling your body up as you go. Taking your time, especially if you have a tendency to get dizzy. If your shoulder rolls. And then recommence whatever it was you were doing. Don't stay in the same position for too long. Try and sort yourselves out a couple of activities to do in the kitchen so that you aren't doing those repetitious moves, especially if you're making a lot of something. You may actually need to take a few little designated breaks in there. It's so much more enjoyable if you can do what you love to do without being in great pain. So we started in the cupboard in that wide squat position. Same thing when you're emptying your dishwasher. I've actually got a load to unload now, but I'm not going to do it. All right. So again, no matter how I move, moving with purpose, even just pulling the drawer out. Now all I've got to do, because I set my kitchen up so my drawers are right there, is actually pop the things into the drawer. But I'm not going to stand here like that and do it. I'm going to come into a wider squat position. And we did this a few days ago. We did a wide squat position and we moved from side to side. One bent, one straight. One bent, one straight. So I'm in a wide squat position, in front of the drawer, bottom out, shoulder blades together, one bent, one straight. Over I go. One bent, one straight. Over I go. So now I'm actually exercising while I'm putting my dishes back in the drawers. One bent, one straight, sliding it over, bottom out, working those muscles as we go. One bent, one straight, bottom out, lifting, legs in, job done. Well, job isn't done, but it's almost done. So if you're taking them from the dishwasher, and you need to put them on the bench because you have to put them all over the place. Again, it's that wide squat position, excuse my back, excuse my butt, take them out and it's that squat. Up, down, up, down. No, it's down and up, isn't it? <laughs> down, up, down, up. No, yes, no, do not. Stay in that position, I'm over exaggerating, but you know as you get tired that starts to happen. So just being mindful of your movement during the day. These are the sorts of things I've been talking about, is just moving that body with a little bit more purpose. If you squeegee your shower, so if you've got glass in the shower and you use a squeegee at the end of the shower to take the water off, it's the same deal. Squat down, up, down, 
two, change arms. Change arms after two. Don't use the same leading arm. You don't need to. It's not like you're writing. The arm is fine to do that. Swap arms. When you're weeding, same. Wide squat position. Down we go. Change arms. Lean on your leg. Brace. Elbow in. Use your muscles, not your joints, and your body will thank you for it. That way we can keep moving with purpose. Our daily activities count as exercise and you'll just make yourself a little bit stronger every time you do that. Same with your sitting and standing with purpose. All of those things in a day add up. It's not just the time you spend with me. And I guarantee you over time, these things will become natural to you. I know they do because my members tell me. I, it, my body's just automatically going into those positions without me having to put thought into it. The beginning is a lot of thinking involved. Right, I'm just about to do this. What is the best position to put my body in? What did Leslie say? Remember, you've got the advantage of being able to rewind, rewind me and replay over and over again, just in case you didn't get something the first time. Remember, this is important. This is about keeping your independence forever, keeping you in your own home and not having to leave your own home. Maybe going into something smaller, but still something you have control over. It's all about that, controlling your body, controlling your life, controlling your future. That is enough for me and I shall see you in our next activity. I hope you enjoyed that everyone. Make sure you press that subscribe button on your screen so you don't miss a thing. Have a great day and I hope to see you very soon.